just want to say how pleased the American Legacy Foundation is to be with Roswell Park supporting this awesome exhibit. I think the thing we're probably best known for at Legacy is our truth ads. And about, I'd say three years ago, we ran an ad campaign called Crazy World. And in it, we talked about the unusual nature, shall we say, the way tobacco is treated. If peanuts kill people, they're recalled. If tires kill people, they're recalled. If cigarettes when used as directed to kill one-third of the people that use them, they're sold at your drugstore, which is increasingly becoming the, the center for health care for many Americans, especially with the addition of doctors and nurses. Um, this just brings to light the real hypocrisy of, the, of that position. And I, I, uh, I join all of you in encouraging the chain drugstores to really examine what they're doing and what it means for their customers. And if, if they take the right move, they, they'll find, I think, ultimately, that it doesn't cost them the dollars. So let's hope that they learn that. Let's hope that exhibits like this bring some real change. And thank you so much for letting us participate. Thank you. One more, one more service. This is a surprise for Don and Pat Morris. Don and Pat Morris epitomize everything that health advocates should stand for. Few tobacco control advocates have devoted as much of their own time and energy to fighting for a smoke-free society, and few have made as much of an impact <coughs> in such a large geographic area as Arizona. Indeed, they've set a national example for effective crusading. Throughout their selfless devotion to this cause, they have endured ridicule and hostility from the tobacco industry and its allies, as well as from weak and timid elements in the health community. They persevered in seemingly impossible battles for local and statewide indoor air regulations. In these efforts, they never promoted themselves, never sought awards, and never put themselves above the movement. Indeed, they have never been insiders. They are ready at a moment's notice, as we did here just two weeks ago when we called Don to ask him if we could help build this, to support the endeavors of other organizations and to mobilize individuals and groups in Arizona to assist in the efforts of their colleagues around the United States. Don Morris has pioneered in efforts to rid sports of tobacco sponsorship, and he has been perhaps the foremost campaigner in the country against the use and promotion of spinning tobacco. Don and Pat, you have done great things for America, and future generations will benefit from your outstanding contribution to public health. Thank you.